Yo, what's up guys? It's Nick from Against Gaming and welcome back to another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. As today, we have another player debut. I told you guys when I posted in that community thing that I want to do more Ranked Seasons videos. It's just that Ranked Seasons is just frustrating. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's been a change to my team. Not only the, the appearance of my creative player, I added a beard and a lot of hair, but we are debuting this 94 overall Brandon Marsh. Now, with this Brandon Marsh card, oh my god, has this card pissed me off playing against it. In that the future is bright event, literally every single time he was up, he had a home run off of me. I swear. So, I started to walk him intentionally, and then he would steal bases and score. So, I, I, I just couldn't do anything except get him myself, and that's what I did. So, we are going to... Put, put him in center field in his primary position. We move Trout to the bench. I don't want Trout to be on the bench, but let, let's just see how Brandon Marsh does. And if he does well, then I might keep him in, but I really like Trout, and I'm doing incredibly well with Mike Trout. So I, I, I want to keep him in the lineup. So I'm probably going to put him on my bench after this debut video, but we'll see. We'll see how he does, and we'll see if we keep him there. Uh, but yeah, my team hasn't changed since um, But oh one thing I did was I put in a role as Chapman in for Dennis Eckersley That's the only thing that's changed on my team So yeah, let's hop into the game All right, so I've been struggling with my pitchers recently So I'm thrown with Nate Pearson I want to see how he does because he's done pretty well recently. I've used him Not not that much, but I've, I've used him a decent amount so he has Clark Schmidt on the mound, Barry Larkin, Taylor Trammell, Mike Trout, Reggie Jackson, Evan White, Didi Gregorius, Craig Biggio, and Kim Bryant Hayes. So he does have a pretty good team. A lot of those guys are better against, or Didi, Reggie, Trout, and Trammell were better against righties. I think the rest were better against lefties. So he, he does have a good record as well. So let's see how this one goes. All right, one thing about this Nate Pearson, you guys definitely know, but he is outlier. And, nice catch. 2-1 to Sandberg. Sandberg, perfect, perfect grounder for a single. So we get a one-out single in the top of the first. That brings up Mickey Mantle. And I know I've said this in every video, but I'm getting better and better with this card every single day. At the start, he didn't really do that well for me. I'm not even going to cap. <laughs> he didn't do that well. And now he's doing a lot better as I ground to him. Um, that's not going to be a double play. As I ground out into a fielder's choice, Reggie missed the slider. It's whatever. So we strand the base runner in the first inning and get the out. Nice. Make that catch. Two outs. Who does that bring up? That brings up Didi Gregorius. All right. 2-2 two -two to Didi Gregorius. And he swung. Another 1-2-3 inning for Nate Pearson. That's two now. Gary Sheffield. Okay, Gary, I was just about to criticize you like I do in every Ranked Seasons game about how I'm not living up to the standards of my other cards with you, but I'll take it. Lead off double, now Eric Thames. Full count to Eric Thames with Brandon Marsh on deck. That's ball four. Two runners on for the debut boy, Brandon Marsh. Let's see if he can drive them in. All right, Brandon. Brandon, great start to your career on my team that's gonna be a double and that's gonna drive at least one run i'm staying at third because there's no outs there's no there's no reason to risk that brandon marsh great start now pepe alazar pepe that's in the gap three to nothing now that brings up the pitcher so i'm gonna bunt yeah uh, uh, but he's all right so i took that out with um, what's his face? I took that out with Nate Pearson as I get a single with Craig Biggio. Not deep enough to score Pepe Alizar, though. But yeah, I took that out with Pearson, got the single, and now we have Sandberg up. Oh, no. He's going to beat that out, right? No, he's not. Uh, Sandberg. Sandberg ruined the fun, but hey, at least we scored three runs in that inning. Four seam fastball. Ooh, Okay. He finally handled the heat. He hits a home run with Craig Biggio. All right, so I'm going to stop spamming the fastballs. All right. All right. Top of the order now, Barry Larkin. Curveball. All right, he hits that. Oh, cut that off. 
Reggie doesn't cut that off. Seriously. All right, that's definitely going to be a tr uh, No, okay. So he gets a two-out double with Barry Larkin. Reggie Jackson couldn't cut that off. That was just a bad pitch on my part. Let's throw the slider to Trammell, and he almost just tied the game. If he's going to make the catch, which he does, he almost just tied the game. Um, yeah, all right. Three to five, or not three to five, three to one. Gary Sheffield. Okay, Gary, I'll take it. Gary's done well in this game. A rare, a rare sight. So that brings up Eric Thames. All right. Thames off the end of the bat, but that's a single. Who's that in right? Reggie? I'm running on Reggie. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Stay first. Stay first. All right. Runners on the corners. Brings up Brandon Marsh in his second at bat in his debut. First at bat was a success. Oh, oh I missed it. I missed it. All right, I got antsy because Brandon Marsh was up and it was de it was his debut, so I wanted to see if I could drive in more runs with him. But I chased the pitch. It's whatever. And Evan off. All right, Sheffield, whatever. Oh yeah, another <clears throat> another thing about that Evan White is he's a first baseman with 80 speed. Nice. All right, let's make the out. So we get out of a two out single in the fourth inning. Pepe Alzar, come on, come on. Really? Okay, thank you. Pepe Alzar, I think that's his first home run on my team. Yeah, I'm really loving having that creative player at shortstop. Having that switch hitting bat with that insane power. That's really it's, it's really nice. And he's gonna get upgraded soon. I just need a few more innings with him. 3-2, I'm throwing the curveball. And I missed it. Oh, I didn't really, but he gets a single. All right. Lead-off single for my opponent. Who does that bring up? That brings up Cabrian Hayes. Let's throw the slider. And he gets a single. And he's going to send him to third. Why is he... All right. He gets the double, actually. He brings in Eddie Matthews. Oh, God. All right. If he scores a run, he scores a run. But let's not give up a... Oh, perfect, perfect throw. Gun him out, Brandon Marsh. It's 90 speed. It's going to be really hard. Gun him out, gun him out. I should have thrown a third. And he's safe. All right. Drive in the run. All right. Bro, you got to run, Reggie. That's going to score him because he was... Because <laughs> he had no reaction to the ball. I mean, it's Reggie Jackson. His fielding stats are pretty trash, but... It's annoying because he could have made the play if he just went and caught the ball and I had another perfect, perfect throw and he just he just didn't try. It's just frustrating. I still have the lead and everything, but it's just annoying. You know what I mean? All right, I'm throwing the change up to Taylor Trammell. And now it's a 3-0 count to Taylor Trammell. All right, let's throw the fastball. I'm throwing the fastball on the bottom left corner. I don't think he's going to be able to react in time. Or he totally misses it, brings up Mike Trout. That's, that's just great. And he's stealing. Perfect throw, gun him out. He's safe. And he gets a jammed hit. This is really, this is really stupid. I mean, like, my outfielder is not even trying to make the play, and then when he finally does, it's too late, so he's not out. Like, it's just annoying. It's just really annoying. All right. Uh, my pitcher's not hitting, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Nate Pearson, and I'm going to bring in the lefty because I'm not making any risks. I'm not. I do not want to lose the lead. So we're bringing in the lefty, John Franco. Screwball. Can we get out of this inning? Make the play. All right. Uh, it's Sheffield? Okay, you guys are not going to believe me, but in my mind, I said, come on, Sheffield, hit a home run, and he did it. All right, I'll take it. Gary Sheffield is a triple away from the cycle in this game. Thames, come on, uh, off the end of the bat. Yeah, that's caught. All right, I just missed the cutter. It's whatever. I scored a run, which is nice. All right, screwball. Good pitch. He got jammed. All right, Reggie Jackson makes the play. One, two, three inning. 
Solid work by John Franco. Marsh. Thank you, Brandon Marsh. This Brandon Marsh looks really good so far. That's going to be a double. He's going to get into second. Brandon Marsh is now two for three in his debut. That brings up Pepe Alizar, who is two for two. Come on, Alizar. Oh, good pitch. Good pitch. Fair enough. Sometimes you just got to give your opponent the credit. He gave me a really good pitch, and I missed it. All right. Who am I going to put in? Uh... I say Jazz Chisel, or no, I'm put, I'm an idiot. I'm putting in Mike Trout. I forgot he was on my bench. Oh, I missed it. I missed the curveball. Uh, it's you, because you are my best hitter, or not. All right, Craig Biggio is going to ground out, and we leave Brandon Marsh on second with nobody out, so that's fantastic. Mm, no, no, oh. I hung a curveball. Billy Wagner was doing so well, and then he hung the curveball. Right when I released that, I knew that was gone. Oh, my, my, ah. And he swung, he swung, come on. What, what? How did he, how? How did he not swing? All right, Gagne's coming in. Billy Wagner couldn't get the job done against Didi Gregorius. I'm gonna warm up Raleigh. All right, I'm throwing the change up. Oh, turn it, turn it. No, Gary, no! No! Oh, my God. That was the worst possible time for you to do that. The worst possible time. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I had a double play right there, and now he's going to take the lead. Uh, infield fly. We get the first out. That's just so annoying. Don't throw a strike. All right, that works too. Brings up Barry Larkin with two outs. And he hits it. Oh, is he going to make the catch? Thank you. All right. I would have been really mad if Gary Sheffield's error gave him the lead in the top of the ninth. If any of you guys want to see Pepe Alzar's stats, here are his stats. And this is only his 85, which is, which is crazy to think about. Pepe, thank you. Lead off single. Oh, go, go to second. He, 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 he fell. Lead off double. Thank you. That's going to bring up Jazz Chisel. And he's going to intentionally walk Jazz Chisel to face Craig Biggio. Come on, Biggio. Biggio. He's going to make that catch. I got to go back. Brings up Ryan Sandberg. Missed it. All right. I'm not going to third. Ugh, mantle. I just need a hit to drive in the run. You're 0 for 4. You can make it all up with a hit. Nope. I really did not score. I am officially trash at this game. To sinker. Make that play, Pepe. All right, two outs, full count. I'm not swinging. I cannot swing at that with that lefty-lefty matchup. I'm taking the walk to face Gary Sheffield. Get through. Don't be a double play. No. No. Fames. Two out single to bring up Brandon Marsh because I do not want to risk swinging at a ball. There we go. All right. We get the walk with Marsh, and we get the better matchup. I... Pepe, come on. Come on. Please be gone. Yes! Pepe Alizar walks it off for the squad. I'm watching this whole animation. Yes, Pepe. Thank you. Oh, if I lost this game, I would not be happy because I pitched very well, and some of his runs were a little sketchy. Look at the team. Look at, look at Gagne with his glasses. Look at that. Cute man, Pepe Alzar. Literally, literally last night, I was just messing around, and I added a beard and a bunch of hair to him, and he's done better ever since. And he is the player of the game, definitely. Two homers, I think, and a double. Two homers, six RBIs, four hits, two runs. That's, that's, that's a really good game. All right, so Brandon Marsh did really well in his debut. Two doubles, an RBI, two runs, and a walk. So I'm happy. 
I got the win. Um, but you do you want my honest? Do you want my honest like opinions on him? I get thirty one. That's good. Let's back out of here. Do you want to know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put Trap back in now. Brandon Marsh. I'm moving it up. I'm moving him up on the bench though. I like to sort it over by overall just because I'm a perfectionist. But he's definitely going to be my primary pinch hitter versus righties. That's for sure. Uh, but yeah, Brandon Marsh had a great debut. And I'm happy about it. And I'm happy to have this card. So he's going to be probably my best pinch hitter. Which is which is nice. And Pepe Alizar. He's done so well. He's, he's hitting 520. In 25 at-bats so far online. Which is just great. I love having that bat at the bottom of the order. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host, Nick from Against Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.